Hello everyone, I'm Yvonne, a children's librarian here at the Manchester City Library, and welcome to Elementary Experiments Summer Reading Program. Here we are going to do experiments and activities aged at elementary grades one through six with a focus on STEAM or science, technology, engineering, art, or math. Uh, we're actually back to doing most of our programming in person um, so please visit our website for dates and registration and to join us for the full elementary engineering experience. Uh, registration is going to help us make sure that we do have supplies for everyone who attends. Um, so please go ahead and do that if you plan to show up. That being said, um, I thought we could still continue posting some of our crafts um, and tell you a little bit about our activities right here so we could share with as many people as possible. And we are still going to set out craft kits um, after our in-person programming on a first come first serve basis. So our summer reading edition also is going to tie into our summer reading theme, which is Oceans of Possibilities this year. Um, if you don't have to be in our summer reading program to attend elementary experiments um, with us, but we do have summer reading for all ages this year, um, at both of our locations if you want to sign up. Uh, now that we have all of that covered, uh, let's go ahead and get into this week's elementary experiments. Hello everyone, welcome to Find Friends in Elementary Experiments. Um, this is going to be during our uh, Shark Week week of our summer reading program, Oceans of Possibilities. Uh, so we definitely are focused on sharks. Uh, so, so some of the activities we did together in person and that you guys can um, gather the supplies for to try out um, at home um, is figuring out uh, why sharks float, um, which is pretty darn cool. We also talk about um, avoiding predators and catching prey. Uh, so this is a kind of a counter shading that both um, prey like um, penguins and predators like the great white shark will use um, to better um, blend into their surroundings, whether that be the sky when they're swimming above something or the ocean when they're swimming below something. Um, so if you guys can gather the supplies, uh, you can see how that works in real life in front of you. Uh, last but not least, in our activity section, um, we uh, took a look at flying sharks, um, where we're going to um, experiment a little bit with kinetic and um, potential energy as we use rubber bands to launch sharks through the air. Um, just be very careful when you're playing with these, um, especially if you are um, in an enclosed area or around other people. Please never, never, never um, shoot or throw anything directly at a person, especially their face area. We definitely want to be aware of what is going on around us. And finally, this is going to bring us to our craft. For Finned Friends, we are going to make some shark bookmarks um, so you can have a reading companion. This is going to be especially nice if you are part of the Manchester City Library's summer reading program. Um, so the shark can keep you company for the last half of our program while you uh, read those minutes and get those points. And if you were not with us in person for this elementary experiments, um, we are going to have our uh, craft kits um, by the entryway um, to the children's room at the main branch of the Manchester City Library. So if you are in the area and you are um, in grades one through six, you can definitely stop by and pick one of those up um, while supplies last. Um, or if you want, you can definitely try to make it at home. Um, this one might be a little bit tricky, but I think if you're clever, you can definitely do it. Um, so let's get those kits out. Um, you're also going to need um, a pair of scissors and uh, some glue.
Okay, so here we are. Here is our craft kit. It is going to have our instructions um, inside of it, um, as well as um, some printed instructions on our avoiding predators and catching prey. Um, it's also going to have, um, so this which is going to have a um, triangle and kind of a weird shape that is made up of a square and two triangles. We're going to have a red square. We're going to have a white piece of paper that has some teeth printed on there. And finally, we are going to have um, two little dots that are um, punched out with a um, hole punch. I'm gonna leave them in the bag so I don't lose them. Okay, so first off, we are going to cut out all of our pieces. Um, now, this kind of uh, weird piece here, you are only gonna cut out around it. Do not cut on the dotted lines. We are not cutting the dotted lines. We want to keep them attached. Okay, let's get that done. Okay, so we're going to take this um, sort of odd piece, um, and if you are um, making this from scratch, um, just so you know that each of these triangles is um, like this half of the square, just sort of like rotated on the side. Um, so that's a quick tip. Um, but once you have this piece, what we're going to do is we're going to fold um, along these dotted lines, so the triangle is going to go down over the square, this, and again, like this. Um, now we're not gluing yet, so just get those folded down. Okay, so next we're going to take this red square um, and we're going to glue it into the center of the gray square. This is going to be the mouth of our shark. Um, and something I always think about um, is if you are cutting out and um, the line, you can either like see a little bit more of it um, and you don't want that showing. So just think about if you want the line to show or not and uh, decide what side to glue it down onto. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to fold down the first flap. So decide um, which way you like your flaps folded, um, depending on how they ended up folded. One might be like a little bit um, bigger or something. So go ahead and fold one down. Then we're going to take our teeth and we're going to um, position them onto that fold. And we're just going to be like, oh yeah, that looks good, right? So then we're going to glue the teeth to this first triangle. Okay, so um, there's our teeth. Next, we are going to put glue on here so that we can fold this down and have everything be glued and secure. Okay, so we're definitely getting there. You can see the shark taking form. Um, next, what we're going to do is to go ahead and glue on the shark fin that we also cut out at the beginning and the eyes. Okay, so here we go. We have our little bookmark shark friend. Um, and once you're sure that the glue is dry, you can grab um, a book that you enjoy um, and find your place. And go ahead and mark it with your friends. And I really do I like this bookmark. I love how the teeth go over the edge of the page. Um, it's a little bit different from um, most other like um, paper bookmarks or origami bookmarks I've made. Um, and I'm really happy with it and I hope you are too. All right, well, I hope that everyone that had some fun learning a little bit about our Finned Friends for this week's um, elementary experiments. Um, remember, if you want to um, come to our elementary experiments in person, we are at the Manchester City Library, the main branch, um, and it will be in two weeks. 
Um, that is going to be August uh, 2nd, um, which is going to be when our next elementary experiments is. It will begin um, at 3 and go for about um, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get all of our um, things that we have planned in because next week we are going to be doing um, ocean understanding and protection. So we are going to be um, looking at um, how we might have edible water bottles in the future. Um, we're also going to be looking about at how um, melting glaciers affect the ocean, um, as well as how a little bit on how ocean currents work. Um, and then last but not least, uh, we're going to have a craft that focuses on um, recycling um, because we want to protect our waters and also because it's honestly pretty cute. Um, but that is it for this week. Um, remember, next week on Tuesday at the Manchester City Library, we'll be having Legos again. Uh, so if you enjoy Legos, plan for that. Um, and then the next week, two weeks from now, on August 2nd, we will have um, our next um, elementary experiments, which you can sign up for um, and come if you're in grades one through six. Um, and we do want you to sign up just so we make sure that we have enough supplies for everyone who's coming. Um, but if you cannot come um, to our elementary experiments in person, then um, I hope to see you back here, um, same place, same time next week, where we will go over again um, what we did. Until then, I hope you are enjoying your summer. I hope you are reading. And I hope you are remembering to log those minutes reading if you are in a summer reading program. Um, I will have a few um, book suggestions at the end of this video, um, just in case you were really interested in uh, sharks and what we did here today. All right, so until next time, bye.